replay was sent in by Seculum or Seculum's Saint. I think he's got six Praetorian Cav there and two Legionary Cav. Two Archer Auxilia, six Roman Archers, one Peasant. And his opponent is Evo Hell. So there's three Urbans to Evo's army. One flag upgrade, two Archer Auxilia, six Praetorian Cav. I think gold gold, most likely six Roman archers, gold gold, and a, a peeler trigger there, or archer pusher, whichever you prefer to call it. I think Scipio's Roman archers have gold gold, the archer auxilia has gold attack, or three flags of upgrades. I think all of these have gold, gold upgrades. So we have gold gold on the Praetorian curve. So, <clears throat> more or less equal archer, archer numbers here and archer stats. No one wants to break deployment formation here. So just going to wait it out. First person to be impatient, I guess, advances. Also, they don't want to have first, uh, they want to get first shot. So if they're moving forward, they don't get first shot. They walk into the fire. So at this stage, since the archer battles, uh, the archer numbers are even, they both want to get first shot. He's pushed his arch, his urban's into range, I think, but I'm not sure if it's a good idea keeping him in tight formation like that without any defense upgrades. With that many archers firing at him might be a bad idea. Loose formation, not so bad. So he's outnumbered two cav, but he's got an infantry advantage, which aren't upgraded, so they tend to be way less effective if you don't have gold gold. There's some gold gold units. Would have been better probably to get two gold gold and spent the remaining cash on maybe a cavalry auxilio or something else. Maybe some XP upgrades on the archers. So Sun's got a little bit of stacking here, <coughs> which isn't the most optimal thing to do. We'll make that section easier to hit and Julia is pushing his cap forward which may open him up to some shots might not be the best idea especially since he's got a bit of a crescent around him he's going to get side shots where they're not using their shields on the other side here less defense from this side he's going to push his Cavalry back. And I think he's going to. I'm not sure what Julia did there with his cab. I think he neglected to uh, respond. He uh, wasn't paying attention and let it run forward, I think. So he's got to make sure he gets these urbans into position and in the fight, otherwise, he's going to lose this. Might be bad news for his general's unit. You definitely want to withdraw all that. And this, this urban's going to rout with no upgrades being charged from behind. Expect to rout a, a Praetorian cav on Scipio's side there. It looks like Scipio's actually losing a lot of cavs there. starting to get surrounded a little bit by Scipio here, so he's going to lose Cav. He needs to get his Urbans in the fight. Someone says... There goes the General. 
So Julia has got a considerable archer advantage now, I think. No cap to defend them with. So I think Skippy I will win here through Archer and Cav a number advantage. Definitely when you've got urbans against your cab, you want to engage your urbans first, and then your cab next. Always your urbans first, because the cab is fast enough to maneuver <coughs> to get into a position where it's needed, whereas infantry is too slow. There goes Julia's, Julia's two cav there. And the arch advantage has been pushed back in favour of Scipio. Two cavalry there, and he's got some. Julia's basically got one flag of upgrade to his urban, which won't be that effective against the rest of the army. So I'll just trip speed this mopping up. This is not much Julia I can do at this stage with that sort of unit matchup. Unfortunately. left which is about to rout upon that charge. Um, good game. 